All right, so let's do some of these multi-axis finishing uh, operations. We've got a lot of faces to finish. And with the unified multi-axis toolpath, we're going to see some color coding. Uh, I'm going to show it to you on two different toolpaths, one on this inside face, and then the, the other one is going to be finishing this floor. So the color coding on the unified multi-axis does a nice job of really communicating not only to you, but anybody who comes back after you to look at that toolpath, communicates what's been selected and, and where. So I jump in the toolpath, notice that my other part features and colors are gone, and now my color coding is here, and that's where I've got my cut patterns, the curves, the machining geometry, anything else in there. This is just like high-speed toolpaths. Um, you can, for example, set the start and finish curve different colors so you know which direction you're cutting from and to. Uh, I changed my strategy completely on this one from... Uh, from basically side to side going up and down, I'm going to go uh, top to bottom, you know, going along this curve. And when I specify these curves, I'm going to grab these wireframe edges. That's what those dark blue lines are. And I don't want dark blue lines or whatever color coding there is. I want to see what it is as defined in my toolpath. So there you go. First curve, second curve. Machining geometry, all color-coded, very easy to understand what's going on. And for those of you that remember, in 2023, uh, all the, the multi-axis toolpaths were unified in one dialog. And so this kind of takes all that complexity, simplifies it, and makes it very visual and easy to look at if you have a complex toolpath setup. For this one, we're just going to change it a little bit. Uh, we've got the, the, the boundary and we've got the machining surface specified. But what we want to do is turn on uh, avoidance geometry so we don't hit that wall. So for the avoidance geometries, we'll go around and pick all of these faces. Uh, this is a part that when it came in, uh, I know this is going to shock some people here. It came in with some geometry problems. And so we had to go into Mastercam. Uh, to try to clean some of those up. When that failed, we went into SolidWorks and cleaned some of them up. So having SolidWorks and Mastercam both uh, does a nice job. But here we go. We've got everything there. It's color-coded. We know exactly what we're going to get. And we even use that GView cube to, uh, to get it into the orientation for just a quick, you know, overview look. 